Well, hello everyone. My name is Zachary O'Shea and this is Box of Teeth. It is also the season for scary ghost stories that we used to always tell around Christmas. So I'm going to give you one for Dungeons and Dragons right now. Don't properly know where the apparition they call Black Tongue comes from, per se. Rumors speak of a baby buried under the floorboards when it came out all wrong, wearing its call like a shroud. They thought it dead, the story goes, due to the black tongue hanging from a lipless mouth. Weren't dead, though. Weren't living, neither. A few years later, folks noticed the lack of rats in the fields, saved a few dried-up remains. They played it off as a blessing they did, to cover up their dread. Next year, it was cats. A few years after that, it was children. Oh, they'd find pieces of them, drained to life and withered so dry they were practically crumbling dirt. Terror rippled through the farming community. Those with any metal gathered, and the hunt began. Now, around that time, that strange infant's mother had gone missing. It made sense to the locals that maybe that black-tongued babe was behind the killings. So, with pitchforks and torches, they marched to that lonely, old farm. They found the lipless creature, still wearing its call. And black tongue long. Too long. Seems its mother dug it up, fed it. Somehow the dead thing grew tall, but not right. Not at all. Eventually, it ate her too. A few of the hunters made it out alive, but not unscarred. Folks avoid that plot of land now. If only Black Tongue would stay put, but that thing's still hungry. Let's take a look at Black Tongue statistics for Dungeons & Dragons 5th edition. It is a medium undead ghost per se that is challenge rating 5 it has the usual damage resistances and damage immunities and condition immunities one would expect for a ghost it also has ethereal sight and incorporeal movement and etherealness on top of that it has black tongue which is a long range melee attack that deals necrotic damage and the victim has to make a constitution save or be poisoned and lastly, it has a recharge ability of Graven Call, so all living creatures within 10 feet of Black Tongue have to make a constitution save or be slowed. If they fail this save by 10 or more, they're paralyzed for the next minute instead. Of course, they can repeat the save at the end of each other's turns and hope the Black Tongue doesn't kill them in the meantime. I hope you enjoy this horrible little story for the Christmas season. Again, we used to tell scary ghost stories around this time of year anyway. If you're more interested in my horror writing or the non-Dungeon Dragons RPG content that I have, you can always go to www.zachryoshea.com. Hope everybody has a great evening. Thank you for your time and your attention.